1.5 million dollars, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But for Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, it's another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's your chance. Wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. Shh. Oh, hey, you guys again. I can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Ah, uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, okay. Thanks. Yes. And then you pour in a quarter cup of flour, two dashes of cinnamon, dash, dash, and shake it up. Now, the pen. Roll it. Dust it, take the tape, press down lightly, pat, 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 and voila, the print. Rad, homemade fingerprint kit. Capturing fingerprint. And it's great for jewels. Hmm, we got a partial print. Partial match. <laughs> go us! Go us! Go you! Go you! Now we can tell people that Mikhail's the bad guy. Girl. I don't know. If this girl's really involved in something as huge as threatening the prince's flight, I think we're gonna need more proof than a partial print. Then I guess we're gonna have to catch this Mikhail McAllister in the act of doing something worth catching. want to look away, people. Your girl, Bri, has been tasked with the impossible, conquering the man-made monstrosity known as the Wall of Dishes. Eso es todo. This is it. My souffle, my space menu legacy should finally be ready. Do I look dressed for success? Thumbs up, emoji. It collapsed uh. again? Okay, I can't translate that fast, but it smells great. It's supposed to be a mesmerizing, airy confection, like the wings of an angel. Then we'll just try again. I've been trying. It needed to be perfecto, better than perfecto. Well, we have a few days before Olivia James shows. You could think of something else. I need time. This is all your fault, Bryden. My fault, Adrian? It was your idea to bring Olivia James to Cafe Adams and your idea to go with the souffle. Adri, I thought that working with you this summer would be fun. Two friends in it together? Well, it turns out it's zero fun. It's into the negative numbers territory not fun. And my battery is at 0% from all the translating. That's not me problema. I don't need a translator for that. It's not my problem either. I'm out. I'm leaving to refine my mantra. This is ridiculous! Adri is totalmente loca! Oh, and cheesies, I'm even melting down in Spanish like her. 
Charles Coyle? This is his personal file. You're spying on Cam's dad? There's a new development, and it isn't good. Look, Cam's dad lied to her about the night of the break-in. He wasn't at poker. But Mr. C never lies. I seen him talk himself into a speeding ticket. MCIT UGG. Man, Cam me at camp is really hurting my acronym game. Mr. Coyle is the ultimate good guy. Well, there's more. Look, Mr. Coyle told Cam he paid for Destination Mars Camp with his work bonus, but payroll shows no record of a bonus. But, but Mr. C taught me the butterfly loops to tie my shoes when I was five. Does that not count for anything? Look, I get it. He's an amazing father. We'd all love to have a dad like him. Addison and I learned something else. Mr. Coyle is secretly meeting someone in the Space Inc. parking lot in one hour. Right. If Cam's dad is involved in stealing the prototype, he could be meeting an accomplice. Look, I know it's hard, but personal feelings aside, I'm gonna solve this case. Fine, but Cam can't know we suspect her dad. Okay. Well, we need to set a team in place. We'll stop by Cafe Adams and grab Adri. No, please, I just came from there. It's nothing but broken egg dreams and chaos. Adri speaks Bulgarian. Addison can translate. <sighs> and no one listens to Bri. Today on Bryant's, we are joined by my FSS AVF, Michaela McAllister. <laughs> so Michaela, the buzz is you've got something shocking to show us. That's right, we're talking static electricity. As they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> Static electricity is what happens when you walk on a carpet, touch a doorknob, and generate a spark. Ouch. You're generating an imbalance between negative and positive electrical charges, which can become a hair-raising experience. Audience, you decide. Does this look totally current or like a super bad hair day? Kyle's at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I should talk to him about Michaela. Are you loca? It's a recipe for disaster and I know my recipes. I'm just going to ask if he's taking Hannah to the dance. <sighs> okay, I support you, Chica. But let the record show, if this goes badly, I was home sick today, hmm? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey, Cam, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you were taking anyone to the dance, like, off the top of my head, say Hannah? No. That's great. Uh, because, see, I have this friend. Oh, and this friend wants to ask me? Yes, but she's a little shy, and she's afraid what your answer would be. Well, you can tell your friend that I would say yes. Great, she'll be happy to hear that. Uh, just to be clear, you don't mean you, right? Oh, no, no, not me. <laughs> I don't want to go with you. <laughs> um, I, I mean, not that I wouldn't go with you, because you wouldn't be a bad choice for someone if they wanted to ask them to go as friends. Hey, you know, it's okay. I definitely wouldn't ask you either. Uh, well, that's, that's not uh, what I meant. It, it's just that I'm not uh, interested in, uh, even though there's no reason why someone or I wouldn't ask you, because uh, who wouldn't be interested in you or ask you? Uh, Including me. Exactly. And I'd say yes, because I wouldn't say no. Because there would be no reason why someone like me wouldn't want to go with someone like you. Right? Uh, uh, wait. So does this mean we're going to, together? Um, I guess so. Okay. Well. I will meet you there. So, I'm going to the dance with Kyle. K? And not K like okay, but K as in what? How did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make a graph. Oh. Hey guys, congratulations, that was amazing. I mean, you know, everything you did, hijacking the show, it was just, look, I'm off bottled water for life. Oh, good for you. Zach, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Listen, I just wanted you to know that I know you were the masked knight who stepped in to help me at the dance. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I mean, I'm not really, I mean, wait, am I supposed to be? I know you meant well. And even though I can fight my own battles, it was nice. Did you just say it was nice? I said the gesture was nice. Well, thank you, I mean, you're welcome. I mean, okay, I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. Uh, hey, have you studied for that chem test on Monday? Is the chem test on Monday? If you want, maybe we could study for it together, as friends. Y yeah, sure, that'd be great. Kyle! Hey. I... I thought you left. I came back. You missed a spot. Oh. Thanks. Hey, can I get a hand over here? Look. Kyle, I know I've said it before that my life's been really busy. But you know what? Everyone's life is busy. Thing is, you really care about someone like I do. You do whatever you can to make it work. All I know is, my life is way better with you in it. Kayla, you never have to apologize for who you are. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, oh hey, look! look. Oh, hey. That's her. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you? <laughs> Go, Go again! again. Guys, we did it. Yes, we did. Well, of course we did. <laughs> Let's face it, girls. We're unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs>